day 40, live in Falmouth. Uh, this is the Ark Royal. Uh, she was in 1976. I uh, commenced building her from scratch back in 1992. And now uh, 25 years later, we're just about finished and preparing to take her away to Alexander Palace for the International Modeling Exhibition in 2018. Um, she has been a, a weighty project for me for a number of years and starting from initially getting the plans from Greenwich Maritime Museum, um, sketching out the hull um, and developing it and building it uh, from, uh, from basically from uh, wood. We have uh, an oak keel, um, 12 fly plywood frames with bamboo stringers and then it is all wrapped up in a red cedar planking which is steamed into shape. Uh, a dear friend of mine, the late Wilf Burrows, uh, Plato and Falmouth Docks, taught me the technique of steaming wood, and uh, this now is the end result. The, the carrier um, is fully radio controlled. She works, she floats, she has four motors, independently controlled by a radio control unit, um, and she behaves just as the real ship did back in uh, the 1970s. Um, to help me with the operation of it, I do have a, a copy of the original uh, driver's plans from the Royal Navy for driving this class of ships, um, as it, uh, it has got some foibles being such a large vessel. It is affected by the wind, uh, so you need to know uh, various skills. Um, the aircraft, which is the main feature, we have starting at the front, um, we have Phantoms. These were the F4 McDonnell Douglas Phantoms for the Royal Navy. They provided air cover uh, for the carrier and the fleet. Um, then we had the Buccaneers, also, also painted grey here. These were the strike aircraft, and she carried about 14 of these. Um, just in front of us here, we've got Seeking helicopters. Uh, those in Cornwall will be familiar with the Seeking being based out of the Coldrose. Um, the Seeking in this case was used for anti submarine work. Um, further down, we have the Gannets, these aircraft, ungainly looking things, but they mounted a large radar underneath and provided radar coverage for the protection of the fleet. 